the book of Moroni, chapter 10. Now I, Moroni, write somewhat as seemeth me good, and I write unto my brethren the Lamanites, and I would that they should know that more than four hundred and twenty years has passed away since the sign was given of the coming of Christ. And I seal up these records after that I have spoken a few words by the way of exhortation unto you. Behold, I would exhort you that when ye shall read these things, if it be wisdom in God, that ye should read them, that ye would remember how merciful the Lord hath been unto the children of men from the creation of Adam, even down until the time that ye shall receive these things and ponder it in your hearts. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort you that ye would ask God, the Eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if these things are not true, and if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ, and he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost, and by the power of the Holy Ghost ye may know the truth of all things, and whatsoever thing is good is just and true, wherefore nothing that is good denieth the Christ, but acknowledge that, that he is, and ye may know that he is by the power of the Holy Ghost, wherefore I would exhort you that ye deny not the power of God, for he worketh by power according to the faith of the children of men, the same today, and tomorrow, and forever. And again I exhort you, my brethren, that ye deny not the gifts of God, for they are many, and they come from the same God, and there are different ways that these gifts are administered, but it is the same God which worketh all in all, and they are given by the manifestations of the Spirit of God unto men to profit them, for behold, to one is given by the Spirit of God that he may teach the word of wisdom and to another that he may teach the word of knowledge of the same spirit and to another exceeding great faith and to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit and again to another that he may work mighty miracles and again to another that he may prophesy concerning all things and again to another the beholding of angels and ministering spirits and again to another all kinds of tongues and again to another the interpretation of languages and of diverse kinds of tongues and all these gifts comes by the Spirit of Christ, and they come unto every man severally according as he will. And I will exhort you, my beloved brethren, that ye remember that every good gift cometh of Christ. And I would exhort you, my beloved brethren, that ye remember that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that all these gifts of which I have spoken which are spiritual, never will be done away, even as long as the world shall stand, only according to the unbelief of the children of men. Wherefore, there must be faith, and if there must be faith, there must also be hope, and if there must be hope, there must also be charity. And except ye have charity, ye can in no wise be saved in the kingdom of God. Neither can ye be saved in the kingdom of God if ye have not faith. Neither can ye if ye have no hope. And if ye have no hope, ye must needs be in despair. And despair cometh because of iniquity. And Christ truly said unto our fathers, If ye have faith, ye can do all things which is expedient unto me. And now I speak unto all the ends of the earth, that if the day cometh, that the power and gifts of God shall be done away among you, it shall be because of unbelief, and woe be unto the children of men, if this be the case. For there shall be none that doeth good among you, no, not one. For if there be one among you that doeth good, he shall work by the power and gifts of God. And woe unto them which shall do these things away and die. For they die in their sins, and they cannot be saved in the kingdom of God, and I speak it according to the words of Christ, and I lie not, and I exhort you to remember these things, for the time speedily cometh that ye shall know that I lie not, for ye shall see me at the bar of God, and the Lord God will say unto you, 
did I not declare my words unto you, which was written by this man, like as one crying from the dead, yea, even as one speaking out of the dust. I declare these things unto the filling of the prophecies, and behold, they shall proceed forth out of the mouth of the everlasting God, and his word shall hiss from generation to generation, and God shall show unto you that that which I have written is true. And again I would exhort you that ye would come unto Christ and lay hold upon every good gift, and touch not the evil gift, nor the unclean thing, and awake and arise from the dust. O Jerusalem, yea, and put on thy beautiful garments, O daughters of Zion, and strengthen thy stakes, and enlarge thy borders forever, that thou mayest no more be confounded, that the covenants of the Eternal Father, which he hath made unto thee, O house of Israel, may be fulfilled. Yea, come unto Christ, and be perfected in him. And deny yourselves of all ungodliness. And if ye shall deny yourselves of all ungodliness, and love God with all your might, mind, and strength, then is his grace sufficient for you, that by his grace ye may be perfect in Christ. And if by the grace of God ye are perfect in Christ, ye can in no wise deny the power of God. And again, if ye by the grace of God are perfect in Christ, and deny not his power, then are ye sanctified in Christ by the grace of God, through the shedding of the blood of Christ, which is in the covenant of the Father, unto the remission of your sins, that ye become holy without spot. Now I bid unto all farewell. I soon go to rest in the paradise of God, until my spirit and body shall again reunite, and I am brought forth triumphant through the air to meet you before the pleasing bar of the great Jehovah, the eternal judge of both quick and dead. Amen. The end. Yeah, it really says the end at the end. Um, and so, I totally agree with this aspect of being a Mujahideen, that... Uh, I mean, you know, that type of thing. That it's not just you have a belief. You're actually struggling for the establishment of the faith in your own real-world deeds within yourself and spreading it to society. But, you know, October 13th is a very important day of people rising up against the oppressors, well, King Philip IV, right? Um, but the premise was dealing away with the usury and also, uh, you know, crusaders. Um, that wasn't really the premise, but, you know, you can see it as a sign in that regards. Of course, things transmute into different things, and they already had an exit plan at that point. Um, Freemasonry sort of branches off it in a different way, but it grafts on different things. But, um, yeah. Because the great jihad, of course, uh, Jad al-Akbar, is, of course, living the life. And so the covenant is that your blood, the blood you are in control of, that is, um, of course, cause. That's, you know, th that's what's being represented here. God shall show unto you which were written unto them who shall, which are expedient, all these gifts come by the Spirit of Christ. Same God who worketh all, have faith in Christ, he will manifest even down unto the time. Now, if you have faith in Christ, meaning the anointing in general, um, that takes it even further, right? That you believe in all the prophets, you don't make discriminations between them. Um, you don't invent distinctions. You know, they were for different times and places. Um, you don't know their whole story. That's part of the purpose of the Book of Mormon. It reminds people, is, hey, you don't know the whole story here, but this is what you, do, what, you know, what it seems that you'll need. I seal up the records after I have spoken. Twenty years have passed away, and it's over twenty years now since I have, uh, you know, left the LDS Church for good. Um, but as you see, um, whether I agree or not, you know, it's been a respectful commentary. And remember, those J sounds do not occur in any of the languages which were original languages for the 